In 1964, a young 15-year-old girl became pregnant, had a lot of difficult choices to make. Uh, maybe more so than some girls, she was raped. But this young girl chose to give her child life and then to place that child with an adoptive family, and, and that child was me. My biological father is a rapist. I don't even know my ethnicity, but I am still a human being, and I still have value, and my life isn't worth less than yours just because of the way I was conceived. And, and I don't believe that I deserve the death penalty because of the crime of my biological father. And I've not a, had, had a chance to meet my birth mom. I hope to. If I don't meet her here on earth, I'm going to meet her in heaven. I've been praying for her since I was four. And when we meet, I'm going to wrap my arms around her and I'm going to tell her I love her because she loved me, loved me enough to give me my life and then loved me enough to give me the next most special gift I was ever given. And that's my family. One of the things that I've learned for young women is that Abortion in the initial stages of finding out you're pregnant when you're scared to death and you don't know what you're gonna do seems like the easy way out. And, and, and the industry of abortion preys on them because it's like, look, we can just make this go away. But the reality is the abortion never makes it go away. And the, and the, the girls and the women that I've worked with over the years who took the easy way out and, and went to the abortion clinic end up with years of regret and years of pain. And, and, and it doesn't fix the rape. Killing their child did not undo the rape. They're still a victim of rape. They're still a, a victim of assault. And now they're dealing with the victimization of their child. And, and unpacking that in the counseling offices is, is extremely difficult. The girls who chose to carry their children to term, whether they made a decision for placement or whether they made a decision to parent that child, go through a lot of months of difficulty and there's a lot of counseling and they need love and they need support and they need people to be there for them. But the long-term recovery is unbelievable. I have never met one girl who via was raped, became pregnant, carried the child to term and and within months or years later looked at me and said, Pam, I wish I would have killed my child. I wish I would have had an abortion. Not once, but I can tell you countless, in fact, literally days ago in tears, a uh, almost 53 year old woman came up and told me that she had had an abortion as a result of rape and that 53 years, years after that incident is still carrying the pain from that abortion, still carries the pain and the scars not just the rape, the abortion is what hurt her. And, and, and it just blows my mind that anyone can believe that somehow abortion is going to fix the rape. It does not. It kills the child, it harms the mother. The only person in theory that you've helped with a decision to abort a child conceived in rape is the rapist. And I'm not sure that's who we're expecting to have compassion for. It makes absolutely no sense. If we enter in to compromise and we start to say, well, I, I really think abortion is killing a child, but this, but that, but that, what you've done is you've compromised the most important truth, the only thing we have to stand on. If it is a human life, then it is wrong to kill it regardless of the circumstances. And when you start playing the circumstance game, you're playing into their argument because now they're saying, well, well, what if she, the woman was abused? What if she fears for her life? What if her boyfriend might kill her? What if she can't support the child? What if the child's going to be abused? All of those arguments we've heard since the very beginning. The reality is this, this is a human being created by God regardless of the circumstances in which that happened and every single child deserves the right to life and there are no exceptions. The minute you make the exception, you've negated the entire argument. Um, compromise hasn't worked. At the end of the day, the compromise hasn't worked. And, and as a community, we have to speak up and say, the reason that I believe abortion is wrong is because this is a living human being whose life you are taking, who, uh, who is an innocent child in the process. And the minute you stray away from that, then you leave yourself open for every single exception that, that people can come up with, and they can come up with a lot of them.